There are job training programs, employee entertainment, taking close looks at competitors' products. In the professions, too, where the exchange of ideas is so important, men want to see what work is being done by others in their field. What a great way to accomplish all these things by showing film. Next, in our schools, there are the countless number of subjects to be taught, children to be educated and sometimes entertained. And of course, there is the public relations program between the parents and the teachers. Then, in religious training, where our children are taught that kindness, gentleness, belief, and faith are the foundations on which they should build their future. How well can they see the truth of these ideas when they're illustrated in films designed for this purpose? Well, time's moving along, but think. Think for a minute, and you'll decide how you can use this particular projector in your line of endeavor. Now we've something to show you, not imaginary skyhooks or horse feathers, but a practical idea, a machine. So here, by the magic of motion pictures, is the Did you know that over 35 years of experienced skill has developed this projector? Well, it's a fact, and an important one, too. This model is equipped with an attached three-wire power cord with a grounding connector. Joe, our demonstrator, will point out other characteristics which make this projector, among other things, one of the easiest machines of its kind to set up, thread, operate, and rewind. With it, there are no laborious and complicated motions to go through. All you do at the beginning is to adjust the height of the projector so that the picture area falls squarely on the screen. If you decide to buy a threading lamp, put it in place next. Then, turn the amplifier switch to on. This done, quick, easy threading is next on the list. Release a sprocket clamp, the gate, and a sprocket clamp. Turn the threading knob so that the white line faces you. For easy threading, follow the simple diagram on this plate attached to the base of the projector. When you are finished, press down on this built-in loop former, then engage the film by turning the threading knob. Now you're just about set. Quick? Certainly. All that remains is to loop the film around the take-up reel, and by this time, the sound amplifier will be warmed up. Now, turn the single control switch all the way to lamp. Focus your image. Adjust the frame line, the volume and tone controls, the fidelity control, and this is what you might see. Pretty nice, huh? Want to run the film back a few feet and repeat a certain part? Just turn the control switch to reverse. This feature of reverse also offers the convenience of projecting the opening scenes of the film, focusing and presetting the sound controls before the audience arrives. Then, by reversing the projector to the start of the film, you're ready to put on a perfect show. To rewind your film, loop it around the top reel, pull out the rewind lever, turn the control switch to rewind. No need to transpose reels or change belts. And that's the setting up story in two and a half minutes. And it's not a tall story either. Yet, you might ask what produces this excellent picture quality in any pageant projector. Well, let's take a look. At the base of this two inch F16 lens is a spring loaded field flattener. It gives you a sharp picture, not just in the center area, but throughout the whole screen. Next, the gate assembly. First, the gate itself, and on the right, the aperture plate. To produce proper tension, 
This gate has a floating pressure pad, and the aperture plate has four side guides, two movable ones and two stationary ones. And in the center, at the heart of the aperture, is the film pulled down. See it moving? Its top tooth is tungsten carbide, one of the hardest substances known to man. Behind is a revolving mechanism which gives you 40% more screen illumination at sound speed. It's called the Super 40 shutter. That brighter image on the right side of the screen is what you will get with the amazing Super 40 shutter. On the left is the illumination from a conventional shutter. On the pull-down assembly arm is a nylon cam follower. Three ball bearings pivot this arm in two directions at once. Outside again are the spring-loaded upper and lower sprockets, another pageant original. Unique, too, is the fact that the projector works on quiet, long-wearing nylon gears. These, along with oil-impregnated sleeve bearings and sealed ball bearings, ensure that you will never have to lubricate your projector. These factors contribute to give you this unexcelled picture steadiness and definition of a bee's honeycomb. My voice that you hear now is coming to you from this well-baffled speaker mounted in the projector cover. The speaker is designed to handle the full range and volume of the powerful and versatile 25-watt amplifier. This pressure roller and this accurately machined sound drum help to achieve high-quality reproduction since the motion of the unit is stabilized by the action of a dynamically balanced flywheel. Let's hear an example of full range sound coming from the 25 watt amplifier. A damper roller ensures sound with minimum wow or flutter. This damping action is achieved by a sealed cup filled with silicone oil. Let's listen to an example of brilliance and clarity in sound reproduction. listen to sustained notes and notice the absence of flutter and wow. Other features of this model are a self-adjusting take-up spindle, dual film speeds, silent or sound, easy to change projection lamp, easily released exciter lamp, accessibility to the amplifier for maintenance, and a new feature on this model, a modern printed circuit. What's this? It's the pre-amplifier unit of the magnetic sound playback kit available for this projector. The kit includes the magnetic head assembly and other parts which your dealer can install. You can then show either magnetic or optical sound films. Versatile? You're so right. Accessories that you can buy are things such as this protective cover with a pocket for that sometimes forgotten take-up reel. Or this bifocal lens converter, which gives you two more screen sizes in case you're someplace where the throw is shorter or longer than is usual.
You can buy a microphone and use it to give a running commentary on your own film. Or use the projector as a public address system. Also, there's a separate input for the pickup from a record player for background music. Well, I've done a lot of talking. Oh, I could go on for a long time about many other features of this projector that'll make your screening problems disappear completely. But give yourself a minute or two and speak personally with your Kodak audio-visual dealer. I'm sure you'll have questions to ask, and I have no doubt that he'll gladly answer them. Just keep the name Kodak Pageant Projector in mind, and you'll get what you want. So long. <laughs>